dear viewers today we are going to make mini meatball with sauce you can eat with rice you can eat with bread you can eat with pasta so first thing i took a little bit of olive oil and i put it on heat and i'm going to here i have onions chopped in chopper these are two medium onions so i'm going to take half of it because the other half is going to go into meatball so here I am turning, I'm trying to make them golden brown. Don't do overcook because before the golden brown, we are going to add garlic and ginger paste. So here, these all ingredients are very healthy for you. Garlic is very important, ginger is very important. And onion, you guys know, there's no more cooking without onions, most of Asian food. So, here, let's turn them into golden. Okay. Now, it's I added tomato, granite tomatoes into it. It's time to add herbs and spices. Turmeric powder. This is very healthy. I add in almost all of my dishes. Red chili powder. You can add black pepper or don't add at all. Up to you. Half teaspoon salt. One teaspoon cumin crushed. Little bit of dry coriander. And a small stick of cinnamon. I add cinnamon because it's very healthy. It's option. If you don't want to add, don't add. Let's keep it on a low flame and let the oil get separated from tomato and other things. And till that, let's go make mini meatballs. Okay, so here I have one kilo beef grounded. I give like two and a half tablespoons to my cat because she love it. And I washed it and I dried it. So I'm going to add it to my ball. You can use any chicken you can use, you can use mutton, whatever you like. Okay, so here goes one tablespoon of garlic ginger. And I guess I'll add half more paste. Here I'm going to add the onion. One medium sized onion. And here I have herbs. Salt, uh, one teaspoon red pepper one teaspoon uh, dry coriander powder one teaspoon and cumin powder one teaspoon here i have tomatoes leftovers uh, from the sauce so i'm not going to add all of it i'm just going to mix it and see how it works i don't want to make it a very liquidy thing i need to make bowls okay so here my material is ready i'm not going to add a lot i add a little bit and the rest i'm going to put in a sauce for now, we are going to make mini balls. I'll show you how small I'm making them. So here, our material is ready. As you can see, the oil has separated from tomatoes and it smells really good. At this point, I'm going to add one and a half glass of water in which the meat balls are going to co get cooked. Okay, here, the half. When it will start boiling, we are going to add the meatballs. Let's go and show you how the meatball looks. My meatballs are ready. Um, I don't have patience to roll them a lot. So if you have patience, you can roll them on your hand and it looks really awesome. Mine are right, like okay. So I still have a lot of material. So I'm going to continue making more meatballs until my sauce water starts boiling the sauce has started boiling so I'm going to put it on a medium flame and then slowly slowly I'm going to add the maize ball into it see here we go try not to drop them over each other
keep the flame on medium Okay, so here I added as many as meatballs were in the plate. So I'm going to wait till they hold themselves and then I'm going to cover the lid and let them cook deeply. Okay, look at this. The meatball, they hold themselves. They are not going to be breakable anymore. So I'm going to keep on cooking them on medium flame until I will keep the sauce as thin as or as thick as I want. Here you can see our meatballs are ready. I want them the sauce to be this much thick. And I'm going to take them out and show you. See, none of them broke. They hold themselves so tight. So I'm going to dish out and show you. Here we go. Push them out. Here. Here the meatballs are ready. Serve with rice or pasta or eat with bread as you like.